Hello and welcome to the Studio Brutal video. Here I'm going to show you how to make this industrial techno sequence, sort of EBM sound, um, using the new Ableton SQ sequencer and wavetable. Uh, there's some other processing as well, using the RAW from Ableton 12 as well, delay, and uh, that's about it, just utility to trim the volume down. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Please, before we start, please give us a like and subscribe if you can. It really helps the channel out and uh, gets the video to more people. Um, so yeah, you basically follow along to this. Um, you don't have to make it though yourself. I'll be giving away at the end a free rack. So uh, an Ableton rack, so you don't even have to make it. You can just download that and uh, and uh, you don't have to start from scratch. So yeah, basically what this patch is, is again, it's based on the SQ sequencer. Um, fairly basic in terms of pitch. It's an eight, eight, bit, um, eight note loop. Uh, then it's got a couple of um, notes an octave higher but then the velocity is um, is again doing a lot of the work um, I'm, if I make a sound like this on a hardware sequencer I'm going to um, I'm going to use a second row for sure to move the filter and that's what this is doing um, so here you can see I don't know if you can see that in the velocity uh, thing on the matrix um, the mod matrix you can see that, low, that three things are being controlled by velocity so that means these are controlling these uh, are controlling the, the filter, filter frequency, and um, the effects. You see these movements here, they're moving because of the sequencer. So it, for example, if I um, draw this, that, that is getting uh, more distorted from the sequencer effects and, and pushing through the filter a bit more, put them back. So by doing like this, you can get more accents and more uh, movement in the sequence, basically. Um, it's quite a simple setup. It is. It started off as an acid. I was going to make an acid um, sequence, but then I got I got into it and it got nasty, and I got added oscillators and made it tuned. Um, so yeah, basically it's two square waves on the basic shapes thing. Just square waves, a uh, bit of um, uh, FM distortion uh, using the, um, the wavetable effects, and then ones to tuned up and ones to tuned down. Um, there's a sub oscillator in there as well. Uh, it's not doing much on the bass. It's doing a little bit. I switch it off. It's just uh, it's just making a bit more detuned, really. Um, and that is a really simple patch, basically. That's it. It's got a tight, like with any industrial EVM patch, like the other one I made recently. It has got um, it's got a tight envelope. I'm using envelope two. You can see here. It is um, envelope two it is rooted to filter cut off. You can see it moving as well. It's um, so you just get a really tight sound. If I lift it up, you get that. There's a really, but but you tame it down so it's a really tight, plucky sound. Um, that is in wavetable. It's got some unison, uh, five voice voice unison. It's got raw, uh, just a simple raw. Um, uh, it's really nice the sound of this thing. Um, some of the some of the this is um, it's mapped to the macros. I'll go through those in a bit. But yeah, so it's got raw, um, um, doing a lot of distortion. There's like loads of drive and different saturations on that. On that with raw, then it's delayed in just synced, real simple delay. If I switch it off, just it just gives it a bit more rhythmic pumping. And then yeah, that utility to the end that cuts that trims it down in volume. Um, so yeah, let me just run through the macros again. Like with all of these, any wavetable patch, I always use. Um, these time and amount, I uh, always map them to uh, to the macros because you can really just tame the sound down and build them in. And like, uh, if you're gonna map, if, you, if you're gonna record anything with the mouse or map these to or to, to um, MIDI controllers, use these. The global mod is obviously how much of these modulations are kicking in and the time is how long all the envelopes are. So you just make everything more at one time. Um, and there's a filter, filter frequency cut off. And you can just pump that up for madness, basically. Uh, the resonance, it's got a really nice resonant filter, this. Um, especially when you use this PRD um, uh, algorithm for filter drive. The resonance really, often when you use filter drive, the resonance goes out the window and you can't hear it. And um, 
But this, this uh, with the PRD one, you can get it resonant and distorted, which I really like. Yeah, so you can treat them uh, pretty well, they're, they're pretty cool. Then there's some, another filter drive. And then this is mapped to one of the wavetable things. Um, this one, uh, just so. Just to give a bit of subtle movement, it, um, just, it basically just compresses the wavetable and moves it, and just squashes it. Um, you can see what it's doing. It's doing that. It's also that one, and you can hear it as well. Then raw, I've done the main drive. Um, and then delay feedback is there, so you can make a little build if you want. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it on the macros. But you, most of all, you, if, you, if you're tweaking this, you want to be getting into the velocity and tweaking these as well. If you drop them down as well, they'll completely cut the sound almost as if you're switching the note off. So, so you can just you can just tweak these radios. You want to just set record and uh, record these in. Like that. And just just uh, just record in the macro movement and the sequence movement. So yeah, that's it. That is the sound. Um, it is just two square waves detuned a bit and uh, tweaked with the velocity of the sequence, uh, controlling a couple of things in the uh, in wavetable. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the uh, the rack uh, is totally free. It's in the description below, so go and get that. And um, and yeah, any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, good luck with your music making and uh, have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.